the end of our shop here we built the 12 by 15 foot uh, solar panel three years ago. It's just a warm air solar panel with a manifold on the bottom and we got that connected into the building there and half inch foam here on the back side and then up on top we have another kind of a manifold that hooks directly into the building like the one below to a fan. The front side here is just a pole iron steel uh, uh, covered by a piece of plastic with about a two inch space in between. It's got a very narrow uh, two inch gap on the bottom and then one on the top. That hooks into those manifolds. And it sits on some silo stays. This We're entering the shop here. Got a main shop area here for kind of miscellaneous use. Uh, Twelve and a half foot ceiling, a 30 by 50 area here that's uh, shop and woodworking. We got a finished room partitioned off back here. It's like a 16 by 20 room. And in the back we got uh, we got a garage area here. We do have two inches of foam underneath the floor. Um, it does have radiant heat in the floor which we run part time. Um, we try to maintain about a 45 to 50 degree air in here. We have 45 degrees inside, the panel is sitting at 47 degrees. We're still partly cloudy. Sun's out a little bit more. Yeah, the sun's at a pretty low angle yet and it's just slowly heating the panel a little bit. It's not clearly out. Um, current temperature outside is uh, about four above. So this is the outside temperature on the top of the panel just before it would hit the fan. We're not moving any air yet. Okay, there the fan just kicked on. And there's uh, the first time the fan kicked on today. I probably got that thermostat set just a little bit hot because it just kicked back off and it's still showing uh, 65 degrees in the fan. Just kicked back on here. Less than a half a minute later, the panel's starting to get warmed up, but the fan will kick on and probably stay on. Uh, we're running a 16 inch uh, barn fan with automatic louvers up there with a thermostat that's between the fan and the panel. Now this is the lower intake air vent that's just a set of louvers uh, just like on a fan. It automatically opens. Uh. Well with the fan running intermittently for 15 minutes or so or raise the temperature to shop one degree. Well, here's a reading after seven minutes of continuous running. 59.2 degrees. Here's our trusty shop buddy Duke. Yeah, we, we still have that little bit of haze in the sky. What we're gonna do here is go to the back side of the panel and uh, I'm gonna set that thermostat down just a little bit. I do this in the middle of winter sometimes. It's kicking on and off. It's maintaining about 59 60 degrees so it's kicking on and off a little bit so we got a little access panel here hey, there's the thermostat just inside that hole and we're just going to set it down just a little bit and we'll set her about 56 degrees two inch slot up on top inside the panel and that's kind of our manifold to distribute the air across the top of that 15 foot wide panel. Okay, this is another outside shot of the panel. That shows that manifold down here on the bottom. It's half inch foam with aluminum foil face. And it's connected to a channel that runs into the shed. And the whole back is just that half inch foam and I got a couple of 
one by six is just holding it tight against and holding the panel together. There's a two by four frame on the other side of the foam that the tin and stuff is uh, nailed to. I pieced it together and painted it black. Took about a gallon of paint to do this 12 by 15 foot panel. And uh, then I put some boards inside of here to put about a two inch space in there. And then I used some 4 mil plastic that I just got screwed on with some uh, 3 quarter inch boards to hold it tight against. Um, currently I'm using just regular plastic. It deteriorates by summer and gets real brittle. But uh, my future intention if I use this panel here is to put some UV protectant 4 mil plastic they use on greenhouses. Um, it's supposed to last 6 to 7 years without getting brittle. And you can see in there that 2 inch gap on top and bottom and allows the air to flow up into the panel all the way up so it gets to the top and then there's another two inch gap up there that allows the warm air to circulate and then went to this 16 inch fan that I currently got on there now and the fan is actually probably big enough to run a full 12 foot by 30 foot panel which would be the size of the end of this shed if you ran a panel the whole size of the shed you'd be able to maintain a higher temperature because you'd be moving the same amount of air with twice the panel space. We're currently maintaining uh, 63 degrees out of the panel. Temperature in the shop is about 49 degrees here. The panel is pulling almost 71 degree air right now. We got 52 degrees inside temperature. Okay, it's 72 degrees in the panel right now. We're going to do a little experiment and show you how much heat can build up in this panel in a very short period of time. The time is 12.25. Uh, we're going to take and unplug the fan motor. It's been about 15 minutes. And guess what? We made it there. We're at 110.3 degrees on uh, temperature in the panel. Well, we've been running for 15 minutes steady or more and then temperature is 75.7 degrees in the panel. Our sun is still not quite full, it's partly cloudy. We hit our maximum temperature today I think of 54 degrees and it's about 230 and we're heating the whole 30 by 80 shop here 